what the seal of God is. Just as soon as the people of God are sealed in their foreheads, it is not any seal or mark that can be seen, but a settling into the truth, both intellectually and spiritually, so they cannot be moved. Just as soon as God's people are sealed and prepared for the shaking, it will come. Indeed, it has begun already. Seventh-day Adventist Bible Commentary, Volume 4, page 1161, 1902. The seal of the living God is placed upon those who conscientiously keep the Sabbath of the Lord. Seventh-day Adventist Bible Commentary, Volume 7, page 980, 1897. Those who would have this seal of God in their foreheads must keep the Sabbath of the Fourth Commandment. Seventh-day Adventist Bible Commentary, Volume 7, page 970, 1899. The true observance of the Sabbath is the sign of loyalty to God. Seventh-day Adventist Bible Commentary, Volume 7, page 981, 1899. The fourth commandment alone of all the Ten Commandments contains the seal of the great lawgiver, the creator of the heavens and the earth. Testimonies to the Church, Volume 6, page 350, 1900. The observance of the Lord's memorial, the Sabbath instituted in Eden, the seventh-day Sabbath, is the test of our loyalty to God. Letter number 94, 1900. A mark is placed upon every one of God's people, just as verily as a mark was placed over the doors of the Hebrew dwellings to preserve the people from the general ruin. God declares, I gave them my Sabbaths to be a sign between me and them that they might know that I am the Lord that sanctify them. Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 12, Seventh-day Adventist Bible Commentary, volume 7, page 969, 1900. A likeness to Christ in character. The seal of the living God will be placed upon those only who bear a likeness to Christ in character. Seventh-day Adventist Bible Commentary, Volume 7, page 970, 1895. Those who receive the seal of the living God and are protected in the time of trouble must reflect the image of Jesus fully. Early Writings, page 71, 1851. The seal of God will never be placed upon the forehead of an impure man or woman. It will never be placed upon the forehead of the ambitious, world-loving man or woman. It will never be placed upon the forehead of men or women of false tongues or deceitful hearts. All who receive the seal must be without spot before God, candidates for heaven. Testimonies, Volume 5, page 216. 1882. Love is expressed in obedience, and perfect love casteth out all fear. Those who love God have the seal of God in their foreheads and work the works of God. Sons and Daughters of God, page 51, 1894. Those that overcome the world, the flesh, and the devil will be favored ones who shall receive the seal of the living God. Testimonies to Ministers, page 445, 1886. Are we striving with all our God-given powers to reach the measure of the stature of men and women in Christ? Are we seeking for His fullness and ever reaching higher and higher, trying to attain to the perfection of His character? When God's servants reach this point, they will be sealed in their foreheads. The recording angel will declare, It is done. They will be complete in Him, whose they are by creation and redemption. Selected Messages, Book 3, page 427, 1899. In the sealing time now, I saw that the present test on the Sabbath could not come until the mediation of Jesus in the holy place was finished, and he had passed within the second veil. Therefore, Christians who fell asleep before the door was opened into the most holy, 
when the midnight cry was finished, at the seventh month, 1844, and who had not kept the true Sabbath, now rest in hope, for they had not the light and the test on the Sabbath, which we now have since the door was opened. I saw that Satan was tempting some of God's people on this point, because so many good Christians have fallen asleep in the triumphs of faith and have not kept the true Sabbath, they were doubting about its being a test for us now. Satan is now using every device in this sealing time to keep the minds of God's people from the present truth and to cause them to waver. Early Writings, pages 42 and 43, 1841. There are living upon our earth men who have passed the age of fourscore and ten. The natural results of old age are seen in their feebleness. But they believe God, and God loves them. The seal of God is upon them, and they will be among the number of whom the Lord has said, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. Seventh-day Adventist Bible Commentary, Volume 7, page 982, 1899. Oh, that God's seal may be placed upon us. In a little while, every one who is a child of God will have his seal placed upon them. Oh, that it may be placed upon our foreheads. Who can endure the thought of being passed by when the angel goes forth to seal the servants of God in their foreheads? Bible Commentary, Volume 7. Pages 669, 970, 1889. If the believers in the truth are not sustained by their faith in these comparatively peaceful days, what will uphold them when the grand test comes and the decree goes forth against all those who will not worship the image of the beast? and receive his mark in their foreheads or in their hands. This solemn period is not far off. Instead of becoming weak and irresolute, the people of God should be gathering strength and courage for the time of trouble. Testimonies to the Church, Volume 4, page 251, 1876. This video on top explains whether or not we will be judged equally by God. The other one at the bottom is about the mark of the beast. You'll want to watch any of them next after this.